All right, now we're gonna talk about another kind of markup, uh, specifically sales tax. Uh, so a soda costs a dollar and 19 cents and has a sales tax rate of 6%. How much is the sales tax? So again, we're gonna start with a proportion. We're given 6%, percents always go over 100. So we have six over 100 equals the dollar 19 was the total cost of the soda and the sales tax is part of that. So the dollar 19 goes on bottom. So now we're going to do six times a dollar 19. Which is going to give us uh, seven and 14 hundredths. And then we're going to divide by 100. And since we're dealing with money here, we're going to get a decimal of 714 ten thousandths. Well, we need to round that to the nearest cent. So, uh, we want to go two decimal places and look at the one behind it, which is a one. One tells the seven to stay the same. So, our sales tax there is going to be seven cents. And I'll do another example for you. Alright, so now we have a video game that costs $49.99 and has a sales tax rate of 8%. How much is the sales tax? So again, we're going to set up a proportion. We're given our percent of 8, so it goes over 100. The total cost of the game was $49.99, so that goes on bottom. And then we want to find the sales tax. So that goes on top. So first we do 8 times 49.99, which is 399 and 92 hundredths. And then we're going to divide by 100. So we get 3 and 9,902. Uh, ten thousandths. So we need to round this to dollars and cents. So we look at that third place value. It's a nine. It tells that nine to round up, which tells the other round nine to round up, which tells that three to round up. So our sales tax on this item is going to be four dollars even.